Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Grown Gaming's Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. Just like Chip and Dale, I believe Chip and Dale told us this in the last episode, I actually don't even remember, because it has been a couple of days since I was able to record, but I believe in the last episode, Chip and Dale were telling us that we can go back to the Olympus Coliseum because there is yet another, you know, cup that we can do here. And in this case, it is actually the Hercules Cup, and I'm not sure exactly how hard this is gonna be, I don't remember it being that hard, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do the time trial. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is actually just the, you know, the original one and the solo one. But since all of these are just fights that we, or, you know, enemies we've seen before, I'm actually going to go ahead and speed up the first one and then probably cut out the solo one entirely. So uh, actually, you know what would probably be a good idea is for me to point out, you know, certain things in these fights that I think are important to know. But for all the other, you know, drivel in between, I'm just going to go ahead and speed that up. So I will get everything ready and see you guys in a second. Alright guys, here is one of those special fights that I was talking about a second ago, and as you guys can see, I just hit my toe on the desk by the way if you heard that little banging sound, but we are fighting Cloud yet again, except this time I think he might even be easier than the first time because I don't remember, no I was going to say the first time I don't think we had Donald and Goofy, but we definitely did. Now there's only one thing that's really different about this fight than, you know, the first time we fought him, and I'm actually going to speed this up until that happens, and if you think that I'm speeding up a lot in this episode, there is a lot more to come of that because there is so much that I plan to do in this episode that all of that, you know, menial, menial stuff in the middle is just really not necessary. But actually, I might not even have to speed this up and, you know, to get to that point that I wanted to show you because he's actually getting low on health now and he should be using his new attack, but apparently he just doesn't want to. If he actually lets me beat him and he doesn't use that attack, I'm going to be astounded. There we go. I was about to get, you know, almost not nervous, but like actually pretty happy there for a second. But here is his new attack. He actually gets to glide around the stadium or stage. I don't even know what you would call this. I guess this is kind of a, you know, a stadium in a way. But he gets to fly around, and when he's doing that, he is completely invincible. You cannot hurt him at all. And that is one of the reasons I don't think I am going to be able to do the, you know, the time trial one. Because that this fight right here is probably the one that will give me the most trouble, because I'm not doing enough damage to really take him out that quickly. But now, speaking of quick, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up until I get to the last fight. Oh, and by the way, we do get the Metal Chocobo, which is actually pretty strong, and I'll be showing you guys that after this. Alright guys, now I've beaten everybody but the final fight here, and as you guys can see, Hercules, for some reason, is like the number one person, you know, in this arena. And one thing I kind of wanted to point out before, was why is Cloud only in the fourth, you know, place or whatever? Apparently those battleships are stronger than Cloud, because they were higher than Cloud. But here, for whatever reason, Sora's like, you know, let's go one-on-one. -on -one. Even though, you know, this isn't the one-on-one -on -one fight. The only gimmick, by the way, to really beating Hercules, and if I had died right there, that would have been pretty embarrassing. But there's a, the only gimmick that, you know, there really is, is that he'll have that glowing, like that. And what that means is, you have to pick up a barrel and throw, you know, the barrels at him. So, oh no, oh great. Well, apparently, you don't, they don't, I thought when he punched you like that, they would break. Apparently not. But yeah, that is really the only trick to beating Hercules. He'll just, you gotta throw barrels at him pretty much. So, by the way, let me go ahead and speed it up until I am able to use my new ability. Actually, I might be able to use it now. Yeah, here we go. This ability, by the way, is actually very good. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like Ars Arcanum or something like that. 
Like I said, not a really big pronunciation, you know, major guy over here. But that is a very good attack, especially, you know, for this fight right here. The only thing is that spinning attack he does is pretty annoying sometimes. Because when he does that, you can't hit him either. And obviously, when you're doing, you know, the final fights like that. And then he can also interrupt your, you know, your combo going there. But when you're doing the time trial, that is a really big deal. Especially, you know, against Hercules, who has easily the most HP out of everybody. And there we have it, guys. That is actually the Hercules Cup pretty much in its entirety, and we're going to be getting a cutscene here. We're the champs! Wow! And I didn't even hold back! Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. But that's not exactly what- Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. And we get the Olympia, so finally we get to figure out what was in that treasure chest, and we also get the Yellow Trinity ability. Now that cutscene we just watched was actually one of my favorite playing the game for the first time. I don't know why, it just really struck a chord with me. But if we go ahead and do this Trinity over here, we'll finally be able to move that huge pillar. So we finally get to see what was under that thing, and I know the first time I ever played, I don't know where I'm going, I still have to do the solo fight, but I know when I played the game for the first time, the entire time, I'm like, am I ever gonna get to move that? Am I ever gonna get to open this treasure chest? And the answer to both of those questions is yes, obviously, we just did both of them, and I think the resolution, you know, of the Olympus Coliseum is actually pretty cool. But let me go ahead and show you guys our new Keyblades. We got the Metal Chocobo, which is really long. It's really powerful, but as you can see, it reduces our maximum MP by 1, and it rarely de deals critical blows. The Olympia, on the other hand, is really short, pretty much always deals mighty critical blows, and it, you know, it raises our strength by 1. I was more of a fan of the Metal Chocobo growing up, so that's what I'm going to be using until we get a better Keyblade. But as for right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the solo fights, and after this, we'll finally get into some, you know, we'll get out of the Olympus Coliseum for a little while. And without too much effort really at all, we get an original come and we are not going to be starting over because I have been in the Olympus Coliseum for about 20 minutes now. Hopefully I can get that edited down to a reasonable amount of time for you guys. And another thing that I have never really mentioned is the fact that you cannot go to your gummy ship from that save spot within, you know, the actual Olympus Coliseum building. Don't really know why that is, but I guess, you know, for the, us lazy people, we gotta actually walk all the way out to the actual stadium gates or whatever to actually get on our gummy ship. But we are going to be returning to Traverse Town now, because we need to talk to... Actually, really the only reason I'm going back at this point in time is to go talk to Sid. Because as you guys know, in the last episode, or maybe it was even the episode before that, but I think it was in the last episode, I was unable to get a Dispel G out of one of those treasure chests. 
That has got to change because I'm going to be definitely going back to Neverland to get that. Because if I don't, I'm going to forget. But I believe there's actually going to be a very... I'm going to call it weirdly placed, I guess. I don't even... That's probably not the best way to describe it. But there's going to be a cutscene here that is actually pretty important. But I don't know why they put it, you know, at this point in time. Looks like you found the other one. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. And by the way, he was referring to that tre well, I think he was talking about the Navi GPs, by the way. So he's going to go install that, but in the meantime, we're going to, like I said, get a cutscene here. Sorry. Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm going. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Huh? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie, did you call me? I installed that navigation gummy. But you know, that place is crawling with Heartless. Don't say I didn't warn you. Here, take this along. And we get the Transform G, which I may or may not use, but I'll explain it after I'm done talking to Sid here. But that cutscene, by the way, I don't remember seeing anything like that on Destiny Islands, wink, wink. I don't want to go into too much detail there, but I believe I have too many Eraga Gs, so I'm going to go ahead and sell, like, a couple of these. And what was that other one I had? I don't remember. Apparently, I think you can only have, like... See, I don't even know which one I had too much of. I'm just going to sell, like... I don't know, six of each of them, because I don't want to go back there and it turns out, like, I didn't sell the right, you know, Dispel G. I don't remember, like I said, which, exactly which one was in there. And, man, I'm pressing buttons here. I just want to make sure that I don't have too many Dispel Gs, like, of any kind here. 
All right, so I know I sold like six of pretty much all of them. So if I get over there and it turns out that I still don't have enough room, I might, like I said, just have that aneurysm I was talking about there. And by the way, at the beginning of the Let's Play, I think I said you can use the high jump to get on top of this building, and you can, but, you know, I did end up doing it without the high jump. But now that I've sold all of that, let me go ahead and explain what the Transform G does. Basically, if you put a Transform G on one of your gummy ships, I think you can put it on another gummy ship or something like that and in mid-flight while you're flying to another world I'm not gonna read this but he basically they're telling us to go to the new world which is over there I'll show you guys in a second but you can actually use that transform G oh man why did I do that but you can use the transform G man I, I need to spit this out before any more interruptions happen the transform G allows you to transform mid-flight into another gummy ship but I don't really plan on using too much or using or flying too much more I should say but here's that new ship I can't talk at all today, can I? There is a new world over here that we can go to, but as Goofy said, I kind of glossed over it, there is yet more treasure to be found in all of these worlds. So the one I want to go to first is actually Wonderland, because I don't know if you guys saw when we were there for the... I don't remember, I think we went back there for some green trinities or something like that. I think I might have mentioned the fact that there are a lot of treasure chests left, and that there are. But we don't need to go to the rabbit hole, we can actually just go straight to the Queen's Castle now. Hopefully we don't get too many enemies here, because I have done a lot of speeding up already to this point. Hopefully I don't have to cut out any more enemy fights, and I was about to go into the wrong room there. Good thing it would, uh, I don't think there was, would have been any Heartless in there that would have, you know, posed a problem. Okay, well, there are some Heartless in here, but these guys are not really a problem, because as soon as you hit them, they, you know, go away. And these guys are mushrooms. I forgot exactly what type of mushroom they are, but they are pretty important for getting something later on. I don't really feel like going into these right now, because they're just kind of annoying sometimes, and I, I don't feel like deal with, dealing with it right now. But I will probably do like an episode all about the mushrooms, because there's that one, there was that blue one, I actually fought it in the Olympus Coliseum, I just didn't really mention it, but those mushrooms are pretty easy to take out if they're not the black variety. But we need to go ahead and equip the glide shared ability, because we can now actually use it to glide. I hope I jumped in the right spot. Alright, looks like we're going to make it without too much of a problem. There's going to be an original come in here, and we can actually go into this one right here, which obviously we couldn't have gone into before, but we are going to be getting some treasure chests that we actually could see before. If you guys remember, this was that room, obviously with those chairs down there, that we could, you know, sit down in and get a lot of treasure. But there are some Dalmatians up here, and there's actually going to be an Araga G over here, and I knew this was going to be here, and I knew I was already full on these. So that's why I went ahead and actually sold some of those to Sid while I was at the shop. And I actually don't even know what's in here. Probably like a Mithril Shard or something like that. Well, close enough, a Mithril. But now that we are pretty much done with Wonderland, as far as I can remember, you know, for right now, we'll actually have to come back later for... I believe there's a White Trinity here, but other than that, and other than Synthesis items, I can't really think of too much more we'll be needing to come back here for. But let me go ahead and speed this up so I can actually open that hatch right there and get out of here. That actually didn't take too long. I love in RPGs, even though this isn't like a turn-based RPG by any stretch of the imagination, it's still an RPG at heart, I love the fact that you can go back to earlier worlds and just absolutely wipe the floor with, you know, the enemies. And especially since we have such powered up Keyblades and stuff. Now, uh, did I really just normal drive this? Alright, guess what guys, we're gonna have to speed this up. And here we are at the deep jungle selection menu here. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in at the jungle tunnel because we actually need to go back up to the... What is it called? The treehouse? I don't remember calling it the treehouse before, but I guess that's what it is. I thought there was like a different name for it. I'm probably going crazy. Like I said, actually I haven't said this, didn't have my coffee today. So you guys know what happens if you've been longtime fans. But anyway, we need to go back to the treehouse because there is a treasure chest up there that I know a lot of people were not, well, not a lot of people, but people were mentioning it in the comments where there's a treasure chest in like a wooden boat up there. And we can't get that, or we could not get that until now because now that we have the glide ability, we are able to glide over there. I thought when I was a kid that I could just jump over there. So guess who spent, you know, well, I'm not gonna say hours because it wasn't quite that ridiculous. Man, these guys are spawning all over the place. I hope they're this easy to find when I actually need them. And I bet you it's gonna take me hours to actually find them, you know, when I wanna find them. 
But this treasure chest over here, it took me forever to find it or to figure out how to get it the first time because obviously I didn't know there was going to be a glide ability. So I'm like, well, how in the world am I supposed to get this? But I believe there's going to be a mithril in here. And yeah, so I guess it is sort of a good, you know, reward for coming up here. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in here because we actually need to get back to that jungle tunnel area that we would, you know, right here actually. So that's pretty good. Guys, this is the dreaded deep jungle mini game that I've been talking about for a while and it's pretty annoying actually because you have to slide down the slide here and collect all the fruits which I think are apples I guess it doesn't really matter I don't even know what those are they don't really look like apples but on each leg of the course here there are a certain amount of how whatever these fruits are that you have to collect and you have to collect pretty much all of them to you know you don't have to collect all of them to progress to the next stage of the, the slide here but you have to collect all of them to actually get each progressive item which i'll explain oh my i missed it come on and here we are back on the slide again but you have to collect pretty much every fruit on the way down each of five i believe stage of the of stages of this slide and that can be a problem because if you miss one you're pretty much done luckily i think yeah i was gonna say i think there's a restart option so that's actually what i probably should have done instead of running all the way back around to the top of the slide but that is our 10th one right there, and we have to slide to the left here, and not to the right. Because if you go to the right, it'll just put you back down at the camp. And like I said, guys, the restart option, just making sure it's still there, I don't, you know, wouldn't want it to disappear or anything. That is probably going to be your best friend, because you want to collect all of the fruits on each stage of the slide, so you can get all five, you know, items here. So let me go ahead and try and do this real quick. I foresee a lot of cutting out and speeding up in this, because I have always, or not always, I've never been able to do this, you know on any sort of consistent basis. So I will see what I can do, and I'll see you guys back here in a second. Yeah. Alright, so we got an original come. That's actually pretty good. So hopefully I remember which way to go here. I think we have to go to the left again. And here we go, guys. Stage 3. Hopefully I can get, I believe, actually I have no idea how many fruits are on this segment. It looks like there's another 10. By the way, I think you have to actually complete each stage of the slide and then restart to get to the next stage. But here we get a Mega Elixir, and I know, I think that's the case, because I know you have to go to the right up here. And look, there's a bush in the way, so I think you actually have to complete it the normal way and then go all the way back up to the beginning of the slide again. I probably should have just restarted, but who knows if that would mess anything up, because I actually don't remember doing this minigame as a kid, you know, all that clearly. So let me go back up there and see if that, you know, bush is out of the way, and if so, we will be able to continue, and I will be, you know, a little bit happier about knowing the secrets of that slide. And here we are in stage four, guys. Finally made it, so hopefully I don't mess up because there's this one and one more, and then we never have to do this again. Believe me, it is fairly frustrating unless you've ever tried it. I don't know exactly how much I can convey this minigame through, you know, videos, but let's go ahead and see if I... Oh, no! Alright guys, I had to granny it through there, but at least I finally got it. Unfortunately, what they're going to do is force me to go this way, so let me go ahead and complete this real quick, get back up to the top of the, uh, you know, area here, and I will go to the fifth and final stage of the sliding minigame. And here we are guys, on the final one, I'm going to go so slowly on this, because I really, really don't want to have to start- oh, oh, am I going to get this? Thank you! goodness gracious oh my good i cannot believe that it took almost half an hour to do this mini game there's actually another mini game i believe that is the final one i really think it is but there is another mini game in the vines section of this level where you can actually do some stuff on the vines and swing back and forth 
I, first of all, I don't even remember getting a reward for that minigame, so I don't know what the point of it is. And also, I think I have had just about enough minigames in the deep jungle that I can handle today. So, I'm gonna actually leave the deep jungle. I might come back later. I'm gonna go ahead and, I guess I'll try and figure out if the Vines minigame actually gives you anything. I think it might count for your journal, so if it does, I might as well go ahead and do it because I've pretty much done everything up to this point anyway. I would hate for the deep jungle to be the one level that actually, you know, prevents me from getting 100% or whatever, but I'm actually not sure if it even counts for 100%, so if it doesn't, I might not even do it, but I am sort of a completionist, so I probably actually will. But now that we are finally done with the deep jungle, I'm actually going to go back to Halloween Town because I, I think I showed the treasure chests that you could only get to by gliding, and we're finally going to be getting those treasure chests in this episode right before your very eyes, right now, because it has been a long- actually, it hasn't even been a long time coming. It's been maybe like two or three episodes since I showed you guys that, but I always thought- like, I never went back and got those because- I don't know, I didn't even know- I don't know if I ever even knew they were there, and I actually don't really know what's in them, so hopefully they're pretty good, and in addition to those two treasure chests, which I'm betting at least one of them is a Dalmatian, because we're getting towards the end of the game, and we don't have, you know, quite all the Dalmatians, so I bet you one of them is Dalmatians. Now, where did it even go? It's over here, I think. Man, am I getting lost? Okay, yeah, it is over here. I was like, where am I supposed to jump up to get over there? But yeah, in addition to these two treasure chests, there's actually going to be a couple more treasure chests in a different spot in the level. There we go. I didn't think I was going to actually be able to jump up there, and that would have been pretty embarrassing. But we can actually glide over here. Let's see if my Dalmatians prediction is going to be correct. Alright, so we actually did get some Dalmatians there. And this is probably, what do we want to guess, a Mithril? Oh, an elixir, so that's actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty glad I came back and got that. But now that we do have those, there's an exit that we need to take. We need to go back to the graveyard, actually, because I don't even think I mentioned this. I just, I guess it kind of slipped my mind. When we were here the first time, there was a door that we couldn't open, and there's actually a whole lot of treasure behind us. So let me go ahead and get over to that door real quick. Alright guys, here's that door. It looks kind of like a Christmas tree almost, and I think that's, well it is a called, you know, the movie's called A Nightmare Before Christmas, so I guess that does sort of make sense, but we didn't really get to see too much of the Christmas side of this level, but maybe we'll see that in a, a you know, a future game in the series, who knows. But there was a Dispel G, so it's a good thing I actually sold some to Sid. I don't know, actually, I think there's like four or five treasure chests in here. Thunder G, that's actually not that great considering how late we are in the game and how hidden this treasure chest is. We got an Asuna G, which I think reveals hidden items or something like that. And I think this is going to be the final one over here. And some more Dalmatians. So actually, that was a pretty well, you know, a pretty good, you know, run of treasure there. I'm just surprised that it wasn't a little bit more substantial because I kind of figured that since it was so well hidden and since we're so late in the game, maybe we could have got like, you know, a Mega Elixir or two or maybe even a Mega Potion. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. But we can actually use this shortcut to get back over to this area without having to go all the way through that other, you know, roundabout way where that pumpkin blew up but i'm actually gonna go ahead and speed it up and get back to agrabah because we've got three more levels to get to in this episode guys so i will see you guys at the gummy ship And here we are back in the Cave of Wonders. It's been quite a while since we've been here. Gonna go back up to the hall for just a second. Because actually, I think this is actually the only place I need to go is the hall and back to the palace gates. But let me go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I do need to go ahead and take care of these guys because there's a treasure chest in here that I need to get. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so that actually didn't take too long. There's actually a yellow trinity over here, which I think, I think it might actually be pointless. I think what this does, it has something to do with those two treasure chests we got a long, long time ago. Don't really know why that yellow trinity is there. If anybody, you know, has any information about what that does, I think I got the treasure that that trinity allows you to get way, you know, a long time ago. So if anybody knows, like I said, I would be kind of interested in knowing what, you know, the purpose of that is. But there is yet another treasure chest in here that we need to get. Unfortunately, we need to take care of all the enemies again. Alright, well, that situation sorted itself out. I was kind of hoping they would take care of the enemies. And here's a Dalmatian. So, we got pretty much all of the treasure I can think of. 
in the Cave of Wonders in Agrabah. I don't really foresee us coming back here unless we it's to get, you know, synthesis items or whatever. But there's actually one more treasure that we can get now that we have the Glide ability. So let's go ahead and speed it up until we get back to the palace gates and take care of the enemies there. Alright, made fairly quick work of those guys, but if you guys remember the first time, or actually it was I, one of the times we came back to Agrabah, I think, after we got the high jump, there was actually a treasure chest that I pointed out that we can't, or that we couldn't get at the time, and it looks like these pot spiders are going to be the downfall of me, literally, I'm falling down, all the way back down to the bottom here, but there is a treasure chest up there that we can get now that we have the glide ability, that they kind of teased us with the first time we were here, we could only see it, but we couldn't quite get it. Alright, entered in style here, so I don't know if I've ever gotten a tent from an enemy drop before, but in here there are yet more Dalmatians. So guys, there is going to be one more, I think, area that I need to go to. I need to go back to Neverland, which I, it's kind of funny that we need to return there, because we did just leave there. But let me go ahead and get us there pretty quickly again. And here we are in Neverland, so let's go ahead and go to the ship's hold, which I've actually read that people have had trouble with getting that as an option to land here. I can only imagine that if you don't have the option, you could just come back here and save or something like that, or maybe board the gummy ship from that spot and you would be able to, you know, pick it from the menu whenever you go there. But let me go ahead and take care of these guys. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in this episode. And guys, you gotta remember that we can actually fly in Neverland, and if we come up here, we can get another treasure chest that has a Shell G in it. Luckily, I was not full of those. You know what's gonna be funny is when I am actually full of one of these, I have no idea what's in the rest of these. Alright, more Dalmatians, and I believe that there is another- there is a Yellow Trinity in here somewhere, I just don't remember quite where. I think it's on the other side on the floor, but let me go ahead and take care of these guys. And here's that yellow trinity on the floor, and if I remember correctly, the haul we get from this yellow trinity is actually pretty good compared to all the other, you know, trinities, actually yellow trinities that we've gotten so far. I cannot believe they put enemies in the yellow trinity room. And there they go. So let's go ahead and open all these treasure chests. There's an, an another original come, so that's going to be pretty handy when we start synthesizing. More Dalmatians. I feel like we found like 30 Dalmatians in this episode. Another Dispel G, so luckily I sold those, you know, all of those that I had, or not all of them, but most of them, and... Apparently, oh, I remember this actually, their Power of Wind is in here, for whatever reason they decided to put a, you know, an upgrade to a magic spell, and a Yellow Trinity, in a treasure chest, so I guess they really didn't want you to find that. But now that I have all of that, there's one more thing that I need to get, and it's actually in the Crow's Nest, you know, which is the thing on the top of the ship, like the, the big tall thing, so I'll see you guys over there. Alright, so we took care of the enemies pretty quickly there. Those were actually the blue mushrooms. Don't know if I've shown that in this episode, but all the way up here there is yet another treasure chest that has a Dispel G in it. So like I said, really a good thing that I sold all those. There's actually, since we're making this a marathon episode, you know, while we're here, I might as well go ahead and show one more thing. But to do that, I'm, I need to go back to the clock tower, so let me go ahead and do that really quick. I will never get tired of this music, by the way, but if we come over here somewhere along the lines of the, you know, the doors here, there will be one that is actually lit up, so we can actually go walk in the door. I don't know if we can walk in it or if we have to examine it, but regardless, we're going to be getting a treasure. If I can get in front of it, the door opens and we get a power-up. So we can come back, I think, every hour or something like that and get a new treasure from one of the doors. But obviously that's going to take a long time, so whenever I actually go for all that treasure, that is definitely something that's going to have to be sped up. But let's go ahead and get the final couple of treasures in the entire level, or not level, but episode. And those are actually going to be back at our home base in Traverse Town. And in the next episode, we'll be going back to that, you know, that mystery world over there. But as for this episode, let's go back to Traverse Town. There is a yellow trinity we need to get here. And I think it might just be the last yellow trinity in the entire... I think there's only four yellow trinities in the entire game. And I think this is going to be our fourth one. 
I know we got the Yellow Trinity in the Coliseum. We got the Yellow Trinity in Agrabah. We got one in Neverland. And we're getting the fourth one right here. So I don't really want to talk to Merlin right now because he doesn't have anything to tell us. Out here we can actually go ahead and... Where's that Yellow Trinity? Over here somewhere. This one actually moves these boxes which allows us to get a, a treasure chest up there. I actually don't know what's in this one either. A power up. So man, we're getting a lot of, you know, stat ups in this episode. But we can actually glide over to this treasure chest now which has a... More Dalmatians, and those were actually Dalmatians 1, 2, and 3 there. So it's kind of funny how they waited until now. Like, we couldn't get those until now. And those are actually Dalmatians 1, 2, and 3, which are obviously the first three, you know, in numerical order. But speaking of Dalmatians, let's go ahead and go back to the Dalmatians house, and that will be the final thing we do in this episode. Alright, we've saved a fair number of puppies by now, so we get a Mega Elixir. And a Ritual Comb, yet another one. It seems like the fourth or fifth one we've gotten in this episode. And an Ultima G, which is actually a pretty good gummy ship item. But guys, I want to thank you for watching this marathon session of an episode, you know, of Kingdom Hearts. In the next episode, we are going to be going to the next world, which is actually probably my favorite one in the entire game. So until then, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, and I want to see you guys back for the next episode.